Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. This is episode 50. And as you can see, if you can see him down in the corner, Boo is in this episode. <laughs> he decided to show up in the intro. In the last episode, we dealt with Lord Enver Gortash. Karlak is, uh, well, she's happy, she told us, but it wasn't all smiles, was it? Definitely the most emotional thing that happens in Baldur's Gate 3, I think, when Karlak is there for the end of Gortash. In today's episode, we'll be taking Will out for the first time since <laughs> probably Act 1. And we're going to go try to find a dragon. Probably have to get a newspaper at the end of this episode. This might be challenging without Shadowheart in the party. But we haven't had Shadowheart in the party for a few episodes now. And, you know, while it was challenging, we can deal with it. So, do you remember oh, we read that book? Be. And it was talking about dragon head torches. Yeah. We have to hit them Maybe with lightning both. abilities. And now the door opens. Well, let's discover what there is to discover down here in this mysterious place. A dragon and elf, apparently befriended. One day I'll share such a bond with a dragon of my own. That'd be nice. I wonder if we can get the history sheet off. A bronze dragon, greeting Baldoran, the city's founder. Good job, you hear? Boking, prodding. Baldoran and his bronze friend watching over the city. I cannot say I've heard this tale. Baldoran departs. Little is known of his last voyage, but it seems he left the dragon behind. Hmm. The statue before you bears a familiar likeness. It is Baldoran, the celebrated adventurer who founded the city of Baldur's Gate. Peril floods my province. The Palisades fall. The earth does tremble. The servants of shadow and blood assemble. Beyond lies the grand worm, deep in slumber, awaiting a true hero's advent, should my domain drown in torment. Be you the deluge, turn away. Be you the hero, answer true. Are you worthy? Poetic nonsense. There is no one. And no savior. Let's examine the statue. Now we don't have Shadow Heart here, and it costs sorcery points to uh use Minx, so it's gonna have a natural roll. Thankfully. <laughs> Thankfully we got it. You sense neither life nor spirit within the statue. A powerful variant of magic mouth has been cast on it, allowing it to speak only recorded messages. What are you? What is this place? The statue gives no response. Hmm. Rude. I am worthy. Open the way. Ancient Ansar, hear me. A champion is proclaimed. The test begins. Let your judgment follow. Alright, let's head on in Incredible. then. How old is this place? I'm wondering if Jahira and Minx will have any, like, dialogue from this place. Because I've never bring them here, but... Would be interesting to see for them, I'm guessing. Face my test, prove your worth. That's a beautiful door. Prove your worth to the heart of the gate. Only then may you enter. There are a few tests. The first time I played through, I tried to do them. Usually I don't try to do them because uh, I haven't figured them all out. <laughs> Even though, you know, I've played for a, a while. I don't generally do them, so uh, I'll show them off, but then I might do things the rogue way. A true champion knows justice and eliminates those who stand in its way. Restore the balance of justice. Justice. No pardon without repentance and no penalty without mercy. The right path often lies between the extremes. Thank you for your kind words, Will. I'll keep them in mind. Wise indeed, though I can't take credit. It was my father who taught me the ways of the just. So yeah, this one I, I honestly don't Did even know what the hell it is. A champion burns bright. 
even when rushing waters and moaning winds threaten to extinguish the flames. Take the torch. Withstand the elements. Prove your courage. This one's pretty easy. You just gotta take this torch and then a bunch of elementals rush you. It also teaches you about these attuned crystals. They give you a buff, but <laughs> since we're not gonna be doing the trials, there's no point in doing it, right? It's a lot of combat in that one though. But yeah, as you can see, we get crystal skin. Resistance to all elemental damage. Pretty useful. Prove your strategic wits. There is but one rule. The Dark King must fall in two moves. Are you a commander of armies? Or a shivering pawn? Fodder for cleverer minds. I'm afraid I have little experience with Lanceport, let alone the command of soldiers. If Gale's here, he'll actually tell you exactly how to win. <laughs> the very first time I played, he was here. I'm not good enough to win by my own, so good thing we're not going to try. And down the final path, past this invisible bridge. A good leader has the insight to find good counsel. As a war reaches its end, there is one who doesn't advise for the city's prosperity. Find him and strike him down. In this one, there are these books that fly around and you gotta like catch them and they require a sleight of hand check and stuff. We might actually be able to do it on this character, but I might also go read the Five Year War a Diplomat's Record while I'm here. Like I said, we're doing things the rogue way to get in. But let's just go ahead and... <laughs> I have chosen poorly. And now we are surrounded by the dead. They also have spirit guardians up. There's some chain lightnings. So we definitely need to get rid of this champion. <laughs> kind of hoping the chain lightning would go a bit further with the chaining, but it is what it is. An arrow of many targets. Very nice. Our reward for messing up the trials is just to fight the undead, which, you know, why Shadow Heart would be nice in this episode. Still breathing, despite but I'm sure we'll be fine. Go ahead and do a short oh, rest. Because this next fight against the undead is, well, there's a lot more of them. And why not another one? <laughs> now when we don't have Shadow Heart, we've got we to gotta do some other things to make sure we get rid of our enemies as quickly as possible. I didn't think she'd do that much damage. Another big chain lightning. Very nice. We don't really need the chain lightning, so I'm okay with throwing them out here. This is my time. We'll keep saying this is my time, but he hasn't actually done anything so far. <laughs> it's, it's like even though he's here, he's still not here, you know? Obviously with Shadowheart having spirit guardians, but also being paladin cleric and having full radiant damage. That's why she would be really good here, because all of these guys are undead. Death greets us all, but not today. Not today. It is already over. I love how I can throw the missiles back. They have it back there. Funny when sometimes the game's like you don't have enough movement to do that, but then you just press another ability and suddenly you have enough goodness. movement to do that. <laughs> right, what now? Journal of Past Adventures number five. 
Now, I was wondering if I could even make or have any lightning resistance potions, but it doesn't seem like I do. The next fight might be a bit harder because of that, but we are going to potion up though for the next fight. So I'm going to go ahead and use viciousness. You hear the pop of viciousness. For our casters, I don't know if I have anything because Gale generally is carrying everything, but I'm sure they'll be right. They're the only two that actually have lightning resistance anyway, so... <laughs> With courage does the hero march, fettered by the taxing chains of fear, a stalwart soul must ever persevere. With insight does the hero choose, guidance born of ancient wisdom proven, peace not strife, the undenied conclusion. With justice does the hero rule, lead not the guiltless lamb to bloody slaughter, no, cleanse the lion's sins in sacred water. With strategy does the hero scheme. A cunning mind, a hundred steps ahead, your allies close, your rivals stunned in dread. Worthy you are found. Go forth, hero. Seize your fate and rise, great worm, heart of the gate. What? I was not... Did we win? <laughs> I love how Minx has the same thought that I had the very first time I went through here and cheated my way in. It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> now we head down. To the worm's lair. And this might explain why the undead were uh, protecting the place, because Answer is also dead as heck. Let's go ahead and loot him, because it's the only thing we can do. The dragon spirit floods your mind and memory in a great torrent of power. He is with you. He is within you. He is you. The next words that spill from your mouth are not yours, but the worms. I am Ansor, heart of the gate, butchered in flesh, risen in spirit. Let's search my mind for what possesses it. Ansor wends his way through your mind like an unstoppable river. Your body is unmoving, yet thought flows effortlessly between you. The spirit pauses, and you feel the astral prism stir. Ansel senses the Emperor's presence within it. Answer me, Facey. Why have you come? I never shy away from a challenge. A deep sigh resonates within you. The torrent stills, only disturbed by the dragon's next words. Brack. My words aren't meant for you. They're meant for him. The Emperor stirs in the astral prison, then in you. Calm, curious, and detached. Your presence has stirred me, as it ever did. I am awakened. Answer. It's been true. Baldurin? No. I don't believe it. Baldurin? A name I once answered to. A name I did not expect to hear again. Least of all from the mouth of an old friend. Friend. Yes. And more. Until you killed me. Have you come to dance on my bones, Borderan? Was slaying me not satisfaction enough? Satisfaction? No. You left me no choice. You had every choice. You were becoming illithid. I offered you merciful death. You chose to fight. And now you bring your thrall before me. How far has the great Borderan fallen? I think you owe it to us both to answer the question. Stillness. 
Ansur's consciousness hovers just above yours, searching, seeing. Dear Ansur, enough! I gave you everything, Bordoran, and you repaid me in slaughter. It is time I return the favor. Let my bones rise and the storms gather. Witness, Bordoran. The final tempest has come. I am the heart of the gate. I am the one who roars. This time, you will not escape it. Well, the dead dragon isn't so dead after all. <laughs> Even though it's not honor mode, this is one of the few times that there is a legendary action in Tactician. I wish you could have legendary actions on all the bosses in Tactician. Because they made the game so much more fun. When I played for on honor mode, the fights were like so much more fun. Other than the times that you'd just one turn the boss because you didn't want to deal with its legendary action. <laughs> the Great Drake will now will use its lightning breath on the next creature that attacks it. I do kind of want to disengage Have them ready. Franka. Also, the music back from Act One. Swallow your battle cries, Very good. We're kind of in an awkward situation because I'd like to do damage, but I wish your hero was like a little bit faster. So I might need to send Minx over here with a misty step. Had to get Minx to sacrifice his health a little bit, just so I could actually do damage. Ooh, show no fear. There's also a few water myrmidons here. Can be a little bit annoying. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Didn't think Hellish Rebuke did that much. <laughs> Yeah, the last time we heard the song, it was, uh, Last Light. I think before that, it plays at the... Open the bloody gate. Aldridge blasts this fella. Get Wall to heal. Alright, because the turn begins again, he gets his legendary action bit. That's the hardest part about this whole thing, honestly. <laughs> now we do gain resistance because he broke the crystals we were standing beside. Which should come in handy. Still, though, hurts. <laughs> Let's twin cast a haste onto Jahira. I was hoping it stayed with Will. These guys make water. Water plus lightning, you know? Not that great. Alright, Jahira, get in there. Anta is stunnable. I know he's stunnable because I stunned him in honor mode and uh, took him down within a few turns. I was like, I'm not dealing with him. But I don't really want to stun him in this playthrough. I want to just fight him normally. All right, Will, you can do something amazing here. Hell yeah. Boo, no. Also, the haste got broken just seen which kind of sucks. Alright, we do have a few dragon slaying arrows. They don't really increase the damage by too much, but a little bit helpful. Here's a flame strike. Ooh. 
Not much damage. <laughs> Alright, so anyone who's played World of Warcraft Classic and has done Saffron will know this attack. <laughs> I love how it says two turns remaining as well, but it never is two turns, it's only one turn. He does take less damage and is harder to hit right now, but you are actually able to knock him out of the sky. Because Franker is pretty low, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and use Globe of Invulnerability. The hero can chill back here, pop a potion and relax. And Will will have to do a sprint. All right, so everyone's in cover now or invulnerable. See what you got, answer. Now we get some lightning strikes in the fight keep healing up a bit but because we're still invulnerable we can trigger him to attack us he apparently doesn't want to go get him jihira see the ai is pretty smart because we're in the invulnerability it didn't use its special attack because jihira is right here even though she has the buff which makes her take like little to no damage the AI used it on her. That's crazy. I accidentally moved <laughs> while trying to go for an attack, thankfully it missed. Nice tank in Jahira. It's funny because this fight is basically the same thing as it is on honor mode. And on a mode, he does do one more go up in the air at the end of the fight, which you have to kind of use a globe of invulnerability for because there are no crystals anymore, as you can see. I know there are a lot of people scared of doing it on honor mode. I was never one of them. Like, oh, I have missed this. The I've already adventure. fought him before. <laughs> Why butts. would I be worried about it, right? It's hard to tell how long the globe of invulnerability still has, but I think it might be timing out after this turn. I'm a little worried because there's this lightning bolt here, but it's still breathing. It all says three turns on the tool tip. Blast them, Will. Oh. Nice. The hero is still tanking even though she's down. <laughs> one of my top two fights in this game, answer. I do enjoy this one. Just because there's some tactics to it, right? Obviously, if Shadowheart was here, it would have been a lot quicker. Probably would have killed him in like two dunes because of smites and crit smites and all that, but that's why I didn't bring her. <laughs> it would have been a little bit too easy. Looks like we're gonna have the honor mode finish. The old game of power. Let's misty step over here. Let's drop a globe here. We could also finish the fight right now. There is a chance of that, but I do want to get to hear it up. In HP left. Eight HP. I think I could go another round. Make the ultimate sacrifice. Alright, well, her attacks failed. I guess Aldridge Blast has the best opportunity. One. At least we got to see Stormheart and over twice. Alright, let's finish this. Yeah, Boulder, and what have you done? Unsaw. 
I never thought I'd see him again. As I said though, that fight was going to be hard without Shadowheart. It was. <laughs> Pretty challenging. I mean, Jahira's got a black eye and everything. So it's true. You're bolder. I was. Now, I am much, much more. But it seems you are more interested in my past. I mean, you literally founded Baldur's Gate. Of course I'm interested. Such sentimentality. Very well. It's like I always told you. I was just like you. An adventurer who yearned for greatness. And in mortal terms, I achieved it. As captain of the Wandering Eye, I acquired enough gold to fan Baldur's Gate. I stayed for a while to watch my city grow, but it was not enough. I grew restless again. The sea cooled to me, and I ran to her with open arms. Life at sea was not easy. Our last adventure was ruinous. My ship was destroyed, my crew lost, but my spirit was far from broken. I was determined to return in triumph once again. I heard of treasure in Moonrise. I strove to find it. What I found was an illithid colony, where I acquired a tadpole much like yours, and became a mind flayer. He got tricked. to the Elder Brain. It was Ansor who found me. Ansor who pulled me from the brain's domination. Ansor who brought me home. He sought to cure me of my sickness. Called on every healer he could find. Nearly broke his spirit in the attempt. But he failed to understand. I wanted no healing. I was not sick. So you killed him? Even after he had exhausted all possibility of reversing my condition, he still clung to hope. I tried to convince him of my reality. I was on the cusp of greatness beyond my wildest dreams. But all he could see was a mind flayer. He came to me as I slept. A mercy killing in his mind. I saw the tears. I felt his grief. I had no choice but to kill him first. It was an act of self-preservation. Well, while I admire your commitment to survival, your methods are questionable. There were no alternatives. In my place, you would have done the same. Do not think that I am ignorant of what I have lost. I may not regret my actions, but I do regret that they were necessary. While the past is beyond my influence, the present is not. It is time we move on. One nether stone remains. We must find it before the brain breaks free. I failed. The heart of the gate is dead. We need to see my father. He should know what happened with Ansel. There is more city under the city than in it, I think. I begin to wonder if Baldur's Gate was not built by some burrowing cousin of Boo's. Hmm. A good fort, mate. All right, let's go ahead and actually loot Answer. Here we have Dear Answer, a letter from Baldrin. And Baldrin's Giant Slayer. On a hit, double the damage from your strength modifier. This weapon grants you advantage on attack rolls against large, huge, and gargantuan creatures. Now, there's not that many. <laughs> in the game we will be giving that to shadow heart even though she's not here she gets a new legendary sword here we have the helm of boulderin which is a legendary helm the helmet heals you 2 hp at the beginning of every turn gain one bonus armor and cannot be stunned also can't take critical hits for now i'll pick that up the helm of boulderin the worm's tempest and his roar hurtle through you. Ansur's essence still lives within the helm, instilling you with power for as long as you wear it. I'm not sure who's going to be wearing it, but someone <laughs> will probably use it. 
I'm just not sure who to put it on just yet. But let's head back into Boulder's Gate and then we'll go to camp after we grab a newspaper. Tyrant. Slave. Joy. Freedom. Close. Help me. Help you. Reciprocation. Watchers. Ignore you. Foundry. Neutralized. Witnesses. Eliminated. You. Walk. Free. You. One. Task. Kill Orin. Kill Orin. Kill Orin. Kill Orin. Well, seems like the brain wants us to kill Orin. One day I'll catch a break. Do you want a paper? I'll take one. <laughs> Thank you. Issue 99. Did we miss an issue? <laughs> Archduke Gortash dead. Who can protect Boulder's Gate from the Absolute? Yeah, apparently I missed uh, 98, but I haven't taken a long rest between 97 and 99. Apart from this one, so maybe there isn't an issue 98. The Absolute's voice is gone, but I still hear its echoes. Reflections of reflections. Council of Floric will be relieved to hear you're all right. Hells, Floric. While the Absolute commanded my mind, I condemned her to death and confined her in Worms Rock Prison. She stood by me even as the hell's fires lapped at my feet. You must free her. Already have. <laughs> Tremendous news. She proves as loyal to you as she is to me. I couldn't bear it if she died by my command. May the triad guide her steps. How did the absolute cultist manage to capture you anyway? I was returning from Alterel. My traveling party stopped at an inn, Joaquin's Rest, to lay our heads. It wasn't the heat that woke me. It was the scent. Cultists had set fire to the place. I don't remember being taken. Just the smoke burning my throat before I fell. I awoke in Moonrise Towers, inside one of those damnable pods. The rest, well, the rest goes without saying. Yeah, I think we can picture it. What about your business in Elturel? A complicated one. I went to greet Elturel's high overseer, only for the archdevil Zario to drag the city into the hells. I have been touched by Avernus, been a plaything for demons, a tale for other places other days be it and now you must know about our battle of answer i failed father the worm is fallen a terrible fate for answer my son yet my hopes for the city's future have never been higher i don't understand you and your allies slayed the undead terror that was once the great answer you are stronger than even the Great Worm. You will be the one to part the storms and lead the people through. You, not answer, are the savior we need. First, you will fell the Absolute. Then we will rebuild Baldur's Gate. We will take back our city together. I will name you Baldur's Gate's newest Grand Duke of the Council. You will be hailed, heart of the gate. Grand Duke, I look the part of a fiend. A half-devil possesses my very soul. I will tell the citizens and the patriarchs of your good works. They will know you carry your father's banner. But it is true. You are still under the she-devil's thumb. Uncertainty fills the air. Will has reached a fork in his path. In which direction will he travel? Once again, we can make a great decision for Will. For some reason, the game's like, we don't want Will to make his own decisions. But thankfully, 
If we choose to let Will follow his heart, he will make his own decision, wherever it leads. Will? I fought to right the wrongs of the coast, to slay the men and monsters that hunt the helpless. It is in the wilds that I find my courage, not in the halls of upper city estates. There will be no Grand Duke Will Ravenguard, and there will be no Blade of Frontiers. I am now the Blade of Avernus. For as long as demons and devils imperil the Sword Coast, they will be my prey. Then go with my blessing. Be Faerun's great defender. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. Let these be the lights that guide you, my son. Hail! The Blade of Avernus. Hey, all the Blade of Avernus. The Blade of Avernus. A calm <laughs> settles over you. The Elder Brain is a menace, but with the Blade of Avernus at your side, you know you can triumph. Devil's stench lingers, but Will is yet a champion of the people. I had hoped he'd join me on the council, but he is his own man. I couldn't be prouder. Baldurin is still with us. He is the Mind Flayer that protects our minds from the Absolute. Gods, can it be? The man who raised the city's walls became an Alithid. You both know you owe your lives to me. I am not fallen. I am risen. We must make this a secret we carry beyond the grave. No name is more sacred to the city than Baldurin's. Not even mine. When people think his name or see his likeness, they must imagine a hero. Not a horror. How misguided you are. Yeah, he actually likes being a mind flayer. The Blade of Avernus. How marvelous. It rolls right off the tongue. Tell me, little bug, who should Will's first target be? Most likely Orin the Reed, Baal's chosen. The mad assassin herself. Strike her down, bug. Let her syndicate fall. The brain won't be too far beyond. Oh, how the people will applaud their courageous hero. Well, if they're not revolted by those hideous horns. I'll keep the whole devil pulling his strings hush-hush. I promise. Don't worry, I won't keep too tight a leash. He scratches my horns, and I'll scratch his. Ah, the thrill of the unknown. I can't wait to see how this epic plays out. The Blade of Avernus. A new name for a changed man. The four pillars finally rise within me. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. I'm not to abide them but to become them. Ah, but enough reflection for today. I'm of a mind to celebrate. A hearty meal would do the trick. A few hunks of fresh venison, a round of brown ale. What do you say? That sounds lovely, Will. Wonderful. Uh, you hunt the deer, I'll scrounge up the ale. Prepare your belly for a roast a la blade. <laughs> Let's hope Gale doesn't take offense if I assume cooking duties, just the once. What are the plans for the blade? Once the brain is defeated. I scout both the hells and the coast's havens. And I destroy every fiend that dares put its eye on Faerun. So Will's the Blade of Avernus now. I suppose that's a new sort of frontier for him. Will shall force all devil kind to tremble before him. The hells have much to fear. A noble chant, is it not? Hail Will, Blade of Avernus! Very noble. Well, yes, Boo, the horseless chariots of Avernus are impressive, too. But that would be no kind of name, would it? Hey, Will, horseless chariot of Avernus. Hmm. Doesn't quite ring as well. The Blade of Avernus. I suppose hell is just another frontier. The Blade of Avernus. I can't think of a better man than Will to take up the title. It's about time someone stood up to the evil fox populating the hells. So, the Blade of Frontiers is dead. Long live the Blade of Avernus.
I just hope he stays focused on battling infernal forces. The undead have it hard enough already. You're a little worried, Astarian. <laughs> Do you feel that? The hells themselves tremble to face such a scourge as Will threatens to be. The blade of Avernus, forged by a cambion, wetted on a dragon's hide. Those devils won't know what's coming for them. All right, let's go grab Shadowheart back into the party. She's going to be coming with us Aren't again. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Well, we'll stay. Wonderful. I was <laughs> beginning to feel a little left out. It's only been two episodes, Shadowheart. Literally just two episodes. Will was sitting on the bench for like 40 of them. But anyway, that will bring us to an end of this episode. Obviously a pretty big episode for revelations and battle. Uh, probably one of the hardest fights in the game, the level 17 dragon. And one of the coolest fights in my opinion. It's definitely top two. I don't know if it's first or second. Because there is another fight coming up which is pretty sick of awesome. I mean, anyone who's played this game will probably know what the other top fight is for me. It'll be coming soon. In the next episode, we might step back from doing hard stuff and go deal with a certain undead present that is fouling up the docks. If you remember the rat in Jahira's house, it said there was a smell of fey down by the docks and a smell of arse too. We'll go check what that is. Thank you for joining me in this episode. Hope you have a great day or night, depending on when you're watching this video. And I will see you in the next one.